everybody welcome back to the channel today we are actually doing something pretty special because i'm on vacation here in bon air uh it's a caribbean island just north of, of uh south america maybe you shouldn't say caribbean island it's actually technically a dutch island uh, but today we get to do something pretty cool because uh we got to talk to some locals and we got ourselves a ride in a semi truck today what they're doing is they're unloading sand off a freighter ship and they're taking it to various construction sites, I think for maybe concrete mixture or something like that. But they're unloading sand off of this big freighter ship today and I get to do a ride along in, uh, in one of the, uh, the big trucks here on the island. So it's gonna be really cool. You guys get to ride along with me. Uh, we're gonna talk to the driver a little bit, try to figure out what the, uh, what the trucking industry here in Bon Air is all about. And uh, it's gonna be pretty neat. So I'm excited. So uh, let's do this. All right, guys, it's a little bit windy out here, so you kind of have to bear with me. And what's really neat about this is every time this arm extends over this one way, you can feel the ship moving. We're actually on the ship right now, which is one of the coolest parts. But every time that arm it swings over this way, the whole ship leans over. Super cool. Now, I talked to the guy who actually owns the trucking company and he says they are leasing this ship out. They get this sand from Curacao and they bring it over here. Uh, they also do all the, the shipping containers and everything too. So, this is gonna be super cool. Guys, I'm excited. We get to do a ride along and we get to see the inside of this container ship. So this is our ride for the day. <laughs> All right, Edward, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm in the truck here with Edward. Edward, you said you've been trucking for about 19 years? Yeah. All right, so you are, you're, you're a local here from Bonaire, right? Yeah, born and raised here. So, the uh, how how did you get into the trucking? Was it more like did you did you have a family member that did it, or did you like just see it one day and thought you know you wanted to get into it? Oh, well, my my grandfather was a truck driver. Grandfather was a truck driver. Yeah, yeah. Did, uh, yeah. And I see where he go. Uh huh. And I think that they, yeah, I kind of truck driver. And you like you like it quite a bit. Yeah. So I noticed that you're really good at floating the gears. We've uh, I've been in the truck here with Edward for about I don't know I guess uh, about an hour ish right now, and uh, it's it's you've been you've been doing a really good job. You're better than most American truck drivers. <laughs> So what we did is we took our load of sand from the ship, we got it back over to the concrete plant, and uh, the sand we were hauling, I guess, is going to be made into uh, like, like mortar, right? For like bricks and mortar? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, I guess they had, uh, right on top of the sand in the ship, they had these, uh, these huge big bags of concrete mix that went to the same place. They hauled those on a flatbed. And a little bit later, uh, Herbert said he was going to take me to the um, uh, like the pavers plant because I guess they also make uh, small pavers here too. 
so we're gonna be doing that next. But we're on our way back to the dock right now. We're gonna go grab another load of sand, and uh, that's that's what we're doing at the current moment. This is where we've been taking everything all day. We're back here at the uh, the concrete plant. I'm supposed to meet Herbert here. He's gonna take me over to uh, where they make the little pavers because they say they do that here on the island too. So I've seen a little bit of everything today. I've seen uh, I've seen Volvos, Max. I've seen Internationals. Uh, there's Kenworths here on the island. And then uh, the big thing is, is there's all kinds of uh, there's all kinds of Doffs, Volvos, or uh, Volkswagens. Um, I don't know, there's, there's a little bit of everything as far as a variety of trucks go. But it's pretty neat because these trucks are running all day long. Uh, there's one I hadn't mentioned yet, there's a Mercedes. This is a concrete truck and it actually has two steer axles. But uh, yeah, there's, there's constant movement, which is really cool. There's a lot more industry here than I expected. Uh, but um, this particular company, the Stone Crusher Envy, they, um, they actually, he said they own the ships uh, that, uh, like their own container ships, and they lease out like the sand ships that go over to Curacao and get the sand. So 
it's kind of an all-in-one like business which is really really neat uh, but yeah as you can see there's stuff going on everywhere all around me constantly and uh, they have to get those ships unloaded because once that ship comes in I think they said they had to have it unloaded in like 12 hours and especially on the days when like the cruise ships come into Bonaire they have to get unloaded quick enough to where they can uh, they can clean the dock off because that's the only dock deep enough for the really big uh, cruise ships. So they gotta they gotta clean that port off real quick. They got sweepers that come in. They sweep all the sand. Uh, they like these vacuum trucks. They sweep it all up and uh, they get the port ready to accept the big cruise ships. But anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera around here so we can watch this uh, Mercedes take on a load of concrete. Okay, so I made my way over here to the uh, the pavers plant. Now basically they take uh, like the sand and the gravel and everything, it's all mixed here and put in a big press. We're gonna walk around this particular area here and I'm gonna show you how it all works. So we're gonna get into that right now. All right, so there's all the blocks that they keep in stock. And even though it looks like they have a ton here, uh, Herbert was telling me that they typically keep quite a bit more than this usually in stock So it looks like they have a bunch here But they're actually running a little bit low at the current moment Right here behind me. This is the concrete mixer uh, The cool part about this is this actually works up uh, works as a backup mixer as well So even though it's feeding the machine over here, they have an outlet where they can bring a front-end loader concrete truck or a rear discharge concrete truck back it right up to that and this mixer right here can feed both sides if they needed to uh, but this its primary function is to feed the paper machine all right so the gravel and the sand get mixed over here not mixed i guess they uh they get brought up on the conveyor into the hopper and up here is where it gets mixed all right once it's mixed it goes across conveyor belts it goes down into the machine and what you're hearing is a there's a vibrator that basically kind of like shakes it all together while it's being pressed and every 14 seconds it spits out brand new concrete blocks here stacked just perfectly enough to where he can come with the forklift grab the full rack over here and then stores them right over here and this side of the plant Okay, so I'm in the truck here with Herbert. Herbert, you've been doing this. You said uh, your your father started this company 45 years ago. Yes, correct. That's correct. Yes. Okay, so how how long have you been working in the business? Uh, I've been in the business since 2007. So since 2007. Yeah. That's the, that's uh. So my father started his company in '89, and that was about when I got into it, somewhere around 2005, 2006, something like that. So how long? Uh, so. You know, you guys have been running trucks and stuff like that. You said this paving or the the factory where you've been doing the pavers that's only been up since like October of last year. Yes, October last year we started the production. So, so what what led into that? Like, what's uh, why 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 did you start building the pavers? Uh, the construction on the island is uh, building up pretty fast. So yeah. uh, instead of importing uh, bricks yeah. um, pavers, we decided. It's time to make an investment, and uh, we went in the and then uh, invested in the plant. That's pretty yes. cool. So it's it's like you know I was trying to explain it earlier on video. You guys 
you guys are, are, are basically doing an all-in-one manufacturing process because you've got you've got access to your own ships you've got your own trucks you have your own uh, concrete facility here your own uh, paver uh, manufacturing uh, plant now so it's like you've 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 got to where you're you're pretty much you're mostly independent Yes, that's correct. Well, actually, yeah, mostly, uh, but we still import the raw material, which is the sand. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that, uh, yeah, that makes us dependent from uh, still. other islands. Uh, uh, yeah. Say Curacao and Dominican Republic, we import also from uh, Guyana, okay. um, Suriname, Colombia. So we got, uh, yeah, from those islands, we bring the raw materials. Oh, nice. Yeah. All right. Well, Herbert, I'm really, really excited that you let me spend time with you today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for letting me do a ride along in one of the trucks. That was probably, it's probably going to be one of the coolest parts for my viewers. But uh, more than anything, I appreciate you taking the time to, to teach me about the business and, and uh, you know, show me around. So. All right. Yes. Uh, Thank you. All right. Great. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys had a lot of fun hanging out. Uh, riding along. Hope you guys liked watching the video as much as I liked making the video. It was really cool getting to see the trucking industry from an island perspective. Uh, just, you know, to kind of give you guys a little bit of an idea. This entire island, you can make it from one side to the other in about 35, maybe 40 minutes or something like that. Um, it's not a huge island. And honestly, we're kind of looking over at the very southern tip of it over there. I don't know if it's southern tip or... Maybe that's the northern tip. I'm a, I'm a little turned around just because, you know, there's not really like you can't put your back to the ocean and know that that's like a specific direction because depending on what side of the island you're on. But anyway, guys, hope you guys liked it. You guys know what to do. You got to like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram at Semi Casual Show. And then, you know, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe though. That's the most important part. We're at nearly 100,000 subscribers when I checked it this morning. So, you guys got to do that. Bye.